It's only when I stay up really late. Playboy Cardi is here. That's you, Playboy Cardi. What? 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 Woke up to niggas sounding like me. I won't talk no sad shit. Why no talk no play shit? Fuck it, that ain't cool. Oh yeah. Got a pipe full of red. Oh yeah. It's your boy Cardi. I'm out of here. Now every day I gotta fuck me up for. Yo, yeah. You wanna come out here? Jordan Terrell Carter, aka Sir Cartier, aka Playboy Cardi, was born on September 13, 1996, in Atlanta, Georgia. Growing up, Cardi told Complex that his mom couldn't tell him shit. Shut up! Give me a turn to speak! Nobody could tell him shit. Well, he's cool, isn't he? That type of lifestyle influenced Cardi to get into trouble at a young age and turn his back on the idea of pursuing any kind of school plans after high school. Which in hindsight now, yeah, I guess it was worth it. Before rap though, he actually said he wanted to play in the NBA to make something out of himself. He told Fader in an interview that he was a young AI and didn't go to practice. <laughs> That was the time he was all hoop and no rap while ducking school. He said he would smoke before practice, get on the court, and drop dirty, fam. You believe him? He would constantly skip classes regularly to work on his music or go to his job at H&M. Bro, that's crazy because I definitely worked at H&M too about two years ago. But anyways, yeah. He barely graduated high school, bro. He was actually so close to not graduating that no one showed up to his graduation because they didn't know if he was even going to. He also hated the idea of being an up-and-coming rapper working at H&M, so he said, Be and teleported out of there. So let's get into the music stuff. Cardi began rapping back in 2011, bro. A young Cardi who went by the name of Sir Cartier dropped a song called Cry. Probably one of the few times you'll actually hear him trying to rap for real. Although his vocals are way too low, bro. You can barely hear what he's saying. <laughs> He then went on to drop his first ever project in 2012 called Young Misfit, which is actually still up to this day. Where your soul go? Where your spirit at? Bitch, get cash, bitch. bitch. I gotta have shit. Bitch. No gold, black jewels. Fuck you and your attitude. I do what I got to. Bad bitch, she been on it. Bag of weed, that said, see, I smoke gasoline. That's why she fuck with me. Yeah. He didn't really take his music that seriously back then, in my opinion. In 2013, he probably dropped a couple songs here and there, with one of them being a song called Outchia. It wasn't really until 2014 where he really started to get the ball rolling. The first song that he would ever release on his SoundCloud and is still up to this day is Young Zan Ho. Hey, damn, Zan got me on some other shit. That shit slaps heavy. In mid-2014, he ended up signing with an underground Atlanta-based record label, Awful Records, which would be huge exposure for Cardi. It's the year that Awful Records made a name for themselves with songs like Wrist. Wrist, wrist. The first two tracks that came under Awful Records were the tracks Talk and Lost. The up and coming wave and unique production of these songs gave Cardi that platform to establish his sound and get popular in the underground scene. I'm not getting geek, I'm getting lost. I wrap them up, I ship them off, I'm like a boss. I'm like, you let the lane get you so gone, so gone. Don't let the trust get you so gone, so gone. In my opinion, those tracks sound way ahead of his time to me. Remember, music in 2014 didn't really sound like this. In late 2014, Cardi would then begin to work with the producer Mexico Dro. The chemistry between those two was unmatched, bro, with fire tracks such as Money Counter, Broke Boy, Plug. Call my phone, I bag it. And so on. With the biggest one for Cardi probably being the track By Myself slash No Help, where you can really hear the Chief Keef influence heavy in the flow, bro. The voice, the ad libs, the production, and just overall the vibe of the track. Blowing on it by myself. By myself. I'm by myself.
TK, you want to add an hour so I can take a nap really quick and have energy for school but not miss nothing? Do you see my eyes right now? <laughs> Don't do this to me. Okay. We got the Remy in this bitch. Now, 2015 is really when Ian Connor would play a huge role in the come up for Cardi. Cardi would go his separate ways with Awful Records. Link with Awful, man, has been a big part of my life also, man. I love all those folks over there. Like. And even though Ian and him were friends before, he would eventually take a manager type role for Cardi. I can't emphasize enough how much it really helped Cardi get his fans just by Ian posting him on Twitter all the time. He marketed his music all the time and all of his fans would go and check out anything he posted. This would help him gain a huge buzz from this cosign. Since Ian was such a social influencer, it helped him network and make connections. One important person being ASAP Rocky. Ian introduced him to Cardi in March of 2015 at South by Southwest, which eventually led to Cardi signing to ASAP Mob. In April of that year, Cardi would release Broke Boy, and you already know how much that song bangs. When that track released, it eventually skyrocketed him in the underground scene. It would partly be responsible for bringing Cardi up to the face of SoundCloud. It's definitely a banger, and Complex even placed it on their website. It definitely put him on the map. He didn't stop there though. In that same month, he would drop another SoundCloud classic with Fetty. I just like Houston. I just love Earth. Lean on my car. Bro, SoundCloud back then was such a wonderful place, man. Like the whole underground wave. Nah, that was a, that was a slapper, bro. It was just something to behold for sure. Bro, you know what's crazy though? Look at this clip of Thug bringing out ASAP in 2015 and Peep Cardi on stage with the blue sweater. He would then officially announce that he was signed to ASAP in October of 2015. Shout out to ASAP Rocky, man. Shout out to all, um, yeah. Rocky signed me, you know what I'm saying? We got a lot of shit coming up. And this was honestly the beginning of Cardi going ghost on us, bro. Oh, you know how we haven't got a whole lot of red in over two years? Yeah, but we'll get into that soon. Ian Connor would post this on his Twitter, but Cardi wouldn't really drop anything solo until 2017. Although he did drop two bangers in 2016 with the songs What and V Lone Thug, both featuring Uno the Activist. What? Your whole talk so much. I just want the bar. As well as being featured on the Cozy Tapes. So he wasn't completely out of the minds of people as he was still an up and coming buzzing rapper. It wasn't like he was falling off or anything like that at all. In March of 2017, Playboy would drop two lead singles, Woke Up Like This and Lookin', both with Lil Uzi for his upcoming tape, Self-Titled, both produced by that boy Pierre Bourne. This would honestly introduce Pierre to the mainstream, and this would be the first of many fire tracks that Pierre would produce for Cardi. Then a month later, he would release his self-titled tape, selling 28k in his first week. It got a bunch of mixed reviews, but most of his fans loved it, including me. I think it's fire, with tracks like Flex, Location, Do That Shit, Let It Go, Half and Half, bruh, low-key the whole tape. A song from that tape that blew him the hell up and arguably brought Playboy to the mainstream was Magnolia. The instrumental, the catchy hook, everything about it just oozed a hit. Especially the In New York I Millie Rock line. That to me made it more popular. It catapulted his career by a long shot. Had, I don't niggas, know, had niggas in the lunch lot in New York I Millie Like, what the fuck? I don't know where his career God, would be man. today, honestly, That's if it wasn't funny. for this track. Then in June of niggas that year, Cardi lot, would be announced as a double XL freshman. What? Yo, hey, purple A. Yeah, I said that drink. With a terrible freestyle. Who the fuck was that? Yo, hey, purple A. Who is that? Hey, yeah, I said. Who is this? That drink. Tokyo? Made in Tokyo? Menateo? 
Uh, how tall is that nigga? Five foot? Uber everywhere? What happened to Amanda Teo? I remember my homeboy in Connecticut made a remix to Uber everywhere. Hold on. I think it's on SoundCloud. Was it fire? I don't remember, but we're going to find out. Uh, Uber. Found him. Hold on. Let me see, son. This was a throwback. Hold on. How old was he when he dropped this shit? Damn, five years ago? What was it 2017? <sighs> nah, I can't do my dog like this. That's my man, so I'm not doing it. I'm not doing him like that. I'm not doing him like that. Nah, that's my man, so I would never. With a terrible freestyle, but hey, it's Playboy, so I wasn't expecting much. After this, though, he would kind of go ghost with solo work until 2018, although he was on Cozy Tapes. Nah, man. Nah, I can't, bro. I'm sorry. Nah, bro. I'm sorry. I can't do him like that. We're gonna watch this video. I Two, keeping that. his name out there. Give your man's promo? Alright. Alright, bro. I've been going everywhere. In the state and out the state. You could catch me anywhere. On mainland or at the bay. Got the Tommy underwear. So she know I got them bands. Uber, Uber everywhere. Chauffeur drives Mercedes Benz. They like, can you come? Yes, I can. Debit what I spend. Save the Franks for getting fresh. Nah, he flowing though. He flowing though. Stop. Stop. He's flowing. He's flowing. He's flowing. He's flowing. Stop. Flowing. 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 Baby, that's just how I roll. Uber, Bruh, Uber nah. everywhere. Nah, man. That that he was flowing. He was flowing. He was flowing. He was flowing. Stop. He was flowing. That's my dog. He was flowing. He was flowing. He was flowing, bro. Cut it out. He was flowing, bro. He was flowing. He was flowing. And I come. Bitch, not fucking. I come. Nah, because that just giving me that's throwback to memories that I had when I was in childhood, bro. Like that's high school memories. I remember that shit. Like, you feel me? Okay, yeah, burning up. Ooh, let them win all down. Yeah, it out. I just go hard in the kitchen. Bitches, they fucking, they licking. Fucking my team with no fee. Yeah, fucking my team for the free. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Try to know so. Try to run a rock star. It pretty debut. Lit was finally released on May of 2018. It debuted at number 3 on the Hot 200 and sold 64k first week and got pretty decent reviews. And I ain't gonna lie fam, I'm gonna be the first to admit that I wasn't the biggest fan of it right away. It's one of those albums that took a few months to grow on me. Just look at this Facebook post I made around the time it came out. I said, bruh, the song Pull Up by Playboy Cardi is garbage. <laughs> I usually like mumble rap, my goodness. How these dudes are rich is insane. And bro, that's crazy. I find that wild to read because this has become one of my favorite albums to bump, like, ever. Every song on here I can blast and turn up every time. Some of these songs just make me want to levitate and transcend into another dimension, bro. No lie. This shit is heat. It's kind of funny, though, because I tell people that Playboy Cardi is like the king of nothing. Like, his music is literally nothing. Like, I feel like if any other rapper was to rap the same way he does, says the same content, they would say he's trash or garbage. But for some reason, Cardi's vocals, I guess with the production, it just kind of works. You know what I mean? Like, he's a terrible rapper, but 
it's hard to explain <laughs> like there's no substance at all but it's just lit bro like i don't know he's kind of lucky he has such a dedicated fan base <sighs> and speaking of dedicated fan bases bro cardi where is whole lot of red bro i honestly don't even know how to get into the whole lot of red rollout because honestly bro i could be here all day talking about the drought um nah that's the thing though music isn't necessarily always about what you're saying music is sound so if it sound if it pleases the air it's gonna sound good will it last but all right who we doing next